everybody. We're going to learn how to paint in your beautiful tropical fish. Now yours might look slightly different than mine, um, but it's okay. Okay. Um, you may have gotten a stripy fish if you didn't get a scaly fish. And you can paint them in very similar. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult because there's a little bit more detail there, okay? If you have any of your leftover paint from last month's Hedgehog Project, the black would come in handy. Um, you could even use some of that tan if you like. You can use some paint at home if you decide that you'd like other colors. Included in this kit is yellow and orange. Now it's up to you if you would like the fish to be orange or the coral to be orange. And in this case, I'm going to decide that I want the coral to be orange. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to get lots of orange on my brush, and I'm just going to get into all these little nooks and crannies. Now, painting a piece of ceramic is a little bit more challenging than a canvas because you have more than one flat surface to fill in. There's all these little areas on both sides and underneath, so don't feel bad if you have to move things around to see things properly. Notice how I'm tipping mine and tilting mine. And the reason I'm painting the coral first is because this lets me hold on to the fish and move the fish around. Okay, without getting paint on my fingers. Okay, so we're getting there, we're filling things in nicely. accidentally get some on the fish no big deal because we'll paint the fish after and you can paint right over it I'm even going to get down in here you'll notice I had some ink spill on my table but that's no big deal because it's the bottom Same thing, just like that. Get into all those little nooks and crannies. Now the fun thing about working with yellow and orange is they're such similar colors, right? Because you need yellow to make orange. So you could put some highlights on to your coral if you decide to paint it orange. Okay, or you can use the orange to make shadows if you decide to paint your coral yellow. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Now I've got all this beautiful coral. I'm gonna take a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of my yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna put some little highlights here and there. And notice that it just, it blends right in Blends right in, but it does look a little bit more detailed, a little bit more three-dimensional, and it gives you a little bit more to do, okay? So whenever you decide that that's plenty of paint for your coral, whenever you decide you're finished, make sure you wash your brush really, really well, and then we're going to work with the color. So in my case, I'm going to use yellow. Um, but you're going to use whatever color you didn't use for your coral to paint in your fish. So in this case, I want to give most of my fish yellow scales. And then I'm going to use some of the leftover black from last month. Okay, so see how I'm painting in all the scales just by painting over top. So I want all these little scales to be yellow. And if you want to paint each and every scale one at a time, you can do that, especially if you want to do a bright, uh, many different colors, or if you decide that it would be cool to do a rainbow fish. Okay, so you just want to make sure you use your that tiny brush. These scales are pretty small. There, 
just a few little scales left over here. And you might notice I have some missing spots, but I can always touch them up. So make sure you're trying to cover up all the white. You don't want to see any of the white unless we paint the white on, okay? That's always my rule. You never want to leave a white spot unless you paint it white on purpose, okay? So now I've got this very bright fish. He's very yellow. But I want him to be more interesting to look at. So I'm going to take some of this dark black that I have, okay? I'm going to make him kind of like a bumblebee fish. So I'm going to paint his fin on the top here, black. Okay. There we go. I'm going to paint his little fin here, black. Now it'd be interesting to know if some of you have saltwater aquariums at home or if you've been snorkeling someplace tropical before, if you've ever seen a fish like this. I don't know the type of fish it is, but you might know. So if you do know, let me know. Let me know, okay? So I've got all of these fins on this side painted and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then he's got a little fin. We painted it on this side, but he's got another little fin that blends in a little bit with our coral. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay, just like that. Now I did notice I found a spot here where I missed a spot but it's pretty close to the black. So I don't know, see there's just a spot here. So I'm gonna be really careful with my yellow paint to paint it in, trying not to get the black paint on there. Okay, and I'm gonna use that yellow again. And I think I'm gonna paint his whole face yellow, except for his eyes. And I'm gonna come back with the black paint and give him some little black eyes. Okay, so I'll come in with just a little bit of that black. I'll give him a nice black eye on this side. And a nice, oh, a little messy on that side. Whoops, I went a little crazy, but that's okay. Okay. So that is how we paint in our fish. I would love to see how some of you have done things a little differently. I would love to see if you use different colors. I would love to see if you use yellow on the coral and orange on the fish instead. I would love to see if maybe you painted the whole fish black. Or maybe the fish is disguised into the coral and everything is the same color. I would really love to see what you've done, how you envisioned your fish. So please share it with me if you are allowed to. And otherwise, happy creating, everybody.